In this video, we will be making an extremely unstable compound using acetylene, copper acetylide. Copper acetylide that we aim to prepare is copper 1 acetylide which has a red color but on drying it turns black due to oxidation. Chemicals you need for this preparation include 1 gram of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, 3 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride, 5 milliliters of 25% ammonia solution and calcium carbide for generation of acetylene gas. Start by dissolving 1 gram of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate in 20 ml of distilled water. Use a glass steering rod to dissolve the contents. If you find the copper sulfate is difficult to dissolve in water, just heat the solution a little bit to make it dissolve completely. Once it is all dissolved, add 25% ammonia solution you drop wise with stirring. Initially, a light blue precipitate will be formed and that is the copper hydroxide. Keep adding ammonia until it becomes excess. Slowly, you will notice that the copper hydroxide precipitates start to dissolve and the solution acquires a deep blue color. And this is the solution of the complex tetraamine copper 2. Once the 5 ml of ammonia is added, we are left with this deep blue colored complex solution and we add some distilled water just enough to make the total volume to around 50 milliliters. Now take 3 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride in a separate beaker and add it to the tetramine copper 2 complex. You will notice that the deep blue color immediately disappears resulting in a colorless clear solution and that is the copper 1 complex. Next we make acetylene gas. For that we take some amount roughly 5 to 10 grams of calcium carbide in a round bottom flask. Water was added to the flask and immediately that set up a chemical reaction letting out lots of acetylene gas. A tubing was connected to carry the gas from the round bottom flask to the copper 1 complex. Immediately you see a red colored precipitate forming and that is copper 1 acetylide. Allow the acetylene gas to pass through the solution for few minutes. So that the reaction is complete. It has a pretty deep red color to it. The solution was then vacuum filtered to collect the product. As you can see the dark red colored copper 1 complex is obtained after filtration. Once it was filtered, it was air dried and on drying in air, it turned black color due to oxidation to copper 2 plus. But it is still unstable and on lighting it, you can see an explosive reaction taking place. So that's all in this video. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new chemicals and equipments required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet and also click on the bell button for notifications.